Hey guys, this is Professor Fogel Deering, and this is the video introduction to your political socialization project. So, with the political socialization project, the first thing to really understand is that this project is designed primarily for those of you who have not really thought about your political point of view or who don't have a really strong opinion on politics. For those of you that are a little more aware of your political leanings and a little bit more aware of um, your political background, this is going to be sort of more of a review, but uh, you should think of it as an opportunity to still reflect on your views and how you got them. So this project is primarily about you. Um, with this project, you have several different steps, and I would encourage you to kind of work through this gradually over at least a few days, um, if not the full week, so that you have a lot of time to consider and reflect on this assignment. So, you can choose what format you want to put this in. Past students have done all kinds of different things. I've seen PowerPoints, uh, Prezi's, YouTube videos, um, blogs, written papers, basically whatever format you want to use is fine. Um, as long as you complete the requirements, I have no issues about the formatting. Um, I do want to offer one comment. Um, there are not right answers to these questions, so please don't read these questions and think that I am looking for something. Um, most of these questions are going to be very, very personal. They're asking you to self-reflect, to think about your background, and to think about how your background plays into how you see politics and how you see politicians. So um, there is not a right answer. There is not a right thing that I want you to get to uh, as far as these answers go. I sometimes have students that really feel like they need to figure out what my political socialization looks like and try to make their political socialization match, and that is not at all the goal here. So, there are several questions here about your background, uh, about where you live, where you grew up, um, your socioeconomic status, your race, your religious affiliations, your family members, your teachers, your friends, um, all of these sorts of things. And the goal here is that this part of the self-reflection should give me a really good idea of who you are, and it should also give you a really clear picture of your socialization and how you got to where you are today. And then once you have that background, um, then we're going to go through and look at your ideology. Um, there's a couple different quizzes that you can take. You can take multiple, so certainly if you get a result that you weren't expecting, which happens every semester, um, go ahead, get a second opinion from one of the other quizzes. You're only required to take one, but I have several listed, uh, including one that's uh, a little bit fun, uh, Political Compass, uh, which will give you a little cartoon certificate with little characters uh, of people that share your ideology. So that might be fun for some of you. Um, so you're going to take the political quiz and then you're going to talk about your results um, and uh, think about um, how that then in turn impacts uh, the party that you may be voting for in November. So um, the next step of this is to look at the party platform that's going to align most closely with your political ideology. Um, for those of you that are independents, which is a rising group uh, in America today, uh, you can choose the Libertarian Party, the Green Party, you can go with either one of the major party platforms, whatever speaks to you most uh, as a voter, go ahead and do that platform. Um, when you look at your platform, you're going to be choosing some issues that are important to you and discussing those issues um, and thinking about what you expect from a candidate who would run in that party. Um, so with all of this, um, what we're doing is we're connecting the dots. So we're going from your background to your ideology to a party, and then we're looking at specific issues and how all of that leads you to a position on specific issues, um, specific political issues. Um, and then the last thing to, that we're thinking about in this project is to think about how this impacts you in your day-to-day -day life. Um, one of the things that we're going to be talking about more as the semester goes on is confirmation bias. Uh, most people tend to read, 
watch um, and uh, think about media that agrees with them. Um, and I think there are downsides to that, quite obviously. If you're only reading and watching things that agree with your point of view, then you may be missing a crucial piece of that picture um, that is not broadcasted to you. Um, so this is something to, to consider as you think about your media consumption and what you are taking in politically over the course of the semester. Um, and I'm going to ask you several questions in this project about um, what happens whenever you're confronted with information that does not give you that confirmation. Um, so there are, at the end of this project, three big questions. How did I get here? Number one. What is my political identity? Number two. And then how do I handle political conflict? Um, and these questions are going to be very, very helpful as we move towards our one of our next projects, um, which will be a policy project that you'll complete at the end of the semester. So um, the goal here is to get you thinking, to get you familiar, to get you ready to talk about politics in a much more detailed manner. Once you complete the project, there is a self-evaluation. You are given a grade for the self-evaluation. As long as you complete it, you get the points. So don't leave no points behind. Um, this is an opportunity to tell me about your thought process, how this project worked for you or didn't work for you. Um, and again, the important thing with the self-evaluation is to be honest. Tell me what you think. Uh, there are no right answers. I am not going to go through and try and figure out who said what. The self-evaluation is just a completion grade. Uh, there is no link between um, the results that I view and your name. So you can tell me all of the things you think um, without uh, being fearful for your grade. So that is the end of the video intro. If you have questions about the project, please either message me or post something to our FAQ discussion board. Thanks. Have a great day.